All right, Sketch Pit Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. And today we we watching a video of Shine talking about what happened in the situation with Diddy and a female getting getting uh blasted in the face. So uh, we'll be back, man. Sketch Pit, you know what it is. Look, man, we're going to watch this little clip of what Sean said, and we're going to come back and give our, our thoughts on what he said. Okay. And that was triggered by a lawsuit from a producer that produced on the Love album who is making accusations. And in those accusations, he says that the gentleman confessed to the shooting. And that is what stands out to me the most because, you know, I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward. Uh, and so, um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy. Um, but my political enemies and, you know, detractors tried to make me into, you know, this criminal um, but everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the fall. Everyone knew that that was the story. I'm just saying that I maintained my innocence all this time. I said I was defending myself. I didn't get into who did what. Um, but the victim is telling you who did what. And another, I, I understand that there are other witnesses. Is she, is she accurate, sir? I'm not going to get into that. but. It does open wounds, and um, certainly I am relieved that uh, people are saying what the truth is, that, you know, I did not uh, shoot um, those people. I maintain that I never shoot nobody, um, that there were other guns there. I always said that. That has not changed. And that is the testimony that came out. Um, fragments were never removed, uh, so there was never any forensic testing to say who it was. Uh, but the victims are vindicating me. Uh, witnesses are vindicating me. But I have, I have moved on. I, I'm not trying to relive that. Uh, and, and so I am appreciative of whatever contributions uh, Diddy has made um, to help the people of Belize. I wish him well, I pray for him, and I pray for the alleged victims. And, and if, if it is true, may justice be served. If it is not, um, it, it, it's a tragedy because a, a, a global icon um, would have been destroyed. Well, for any of you that pay attention, you know what I mean? You kind of already knew that Sean was the fall guy. You know what I mean? There might have been some of us that actually believed that he did it, but for a good majority of us that really paid attention to the whole thing when that happened, because I remember when it happened, I was, I think I was in high school when that joint happened. I was in high school or grad, one of them two. But we kind of knew that, you know, Sean was the fall guy. You know, um, it's crazy that it took people this long to even admit that that's what happened that man that man served a life nearly a life sentence over that you know what i'm saying and i believe was he was he deported or something like that when when this occurred and then he got sent back or i can't i can't quite remember exactly what what transpired i know he he got locked up i think he i did. don't know how long i know i think he did 10 years okay um I don't know how long he did in prison, but I believe he got deported after that. But okay, so I was right about the t you know life. I don't whatever. know if he okay. did ten years. Well, you have to look it up. Oh, um, yeah. So you know, um, 
that's crazy, man. You know, uh, I feel like I feel like 2024 has been the year of revealing, revealing secrets, revealing truth, and and uh, most definitely people are snitching in 2024. <laughs> they definitely snitching. They like I don't want nothing to do with this. I'm telling everything. That's what. That's definitely what's going on this year. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, but yeah, man. Sean went through a lot, man. And let me let me go on record and saying, yo, I I ain't even going for. I liked Sean's music when he's um when he was out. I liked his music. I got his album. Um, one of my favorite records on there was the Commission. That joint was hard. I ain't even going front. Um, it's a shame, man. He lost, he lost, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm assuming he, he served nearly life in, in, uh, in, uh, jail, prison, whatever, but I'm not a hundred percent. Cause you know what I mean? It was such a long time ago, you know, but for whatever time he served in there, it was a long time. I know that for sure. And, um, he never was the same again, you know? Like, uh, I remember seeing this one picture of him. He became a, uh, he became, I don't know what was it, homage? He became part of homage people or Jewish or something like that. You remember seeing that picture with him in the magazine? He had the, uh, the young, he had the, uh, one of them hats. I don't know, one of them hats. And then, uh, he had the sideburns and all that. You I remember know, that picture know. of him? I know, uh, I don't know. I know he, well, I know he's, I know he's an ambassador or something like that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I knew that, but I'm saying he went through. What I'm saying is that he went through a lot of transitions for him to get to the point that he's at right now, which, which, which lets you know that regardless of what he's saying right there, because he's really staying face. You know what I mean? But regardless of what he's saying right there, he did say, he did say like it, it reopens wounds. So mm -hmm. we'll let you know right there mentally. Mentally, he went through a lot just to get to the point that he's at right now. And for, for those of you who remember some of them, some of those pictures that he taken, you could tell he was going through a lot of transitional periods of his life. You know what I'm saying? Faith, you know what I mean? All that stuff all together. So mentally it, it definitely had to wear him down because like, you know, he was a young boy at the time that all this occurred and you know, he, he really wasn't exposed to the music industry like that. So at the end of the day, like Diddy was his like Diddy was his like uh his like I don't know you you could say that Diddy was his like parent because he was walking him through this whole situation, and then something happened like that and he gets and he gets locked up, like you know so it just goes to show you man like you know what I mean yeah, life is crazy um. I always liked Sean. I thought Sean, Sean Poe. I thought that, I know a lot of people really didn't want to mention this or say this, don't want to say this, but I thought that, 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 uh, Puffy was looking for another big. Because they used to call Sean the skinny big. So, I yeah, thought that. Yeah, I remember that. That, um, he was looking for another biggie. And the voice kind of sound like Hear me, the voice kind of sound like big. You know what I'm saying? The way he his placed his words and how he did his raps kind of sound like big. And Sean, Sean was all right. He got a lot of comparisons to big. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But for me, that whole situation was real ugly. And I didn't know what to believe back then. And everybody knew that Sean was the fall guy. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew. It was people even saying it outright. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. All I'm going to say is I'm glad he's in good health. And I'm glad that the truth is coming out. And he can get past mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. he's much successful now, and 
He's definitely on a different level than he was as a rapper. Yeah, definitely. You could tell. He just, it don't even. <laughs> you see how, you see how uh, intellectual he is. Like how he's speaking. Definitely. You know what I mean? If somebody would told me that was Sean Poe, I'd be like, "Yo, you lying? That's not Sean. That's that's a ambassador of a whole nother country. What are you talking about? That's not Sean." I'd be like, "Oh, that's Sean." You know. Um. So it just goes to show you, man. Life could take you for a whirlwind. And, and bring you back to reality quick, you know. You know, what I mean, it's good. It's good to see, you know, that he's doing well or whatever. He, he definitely was. He definitely was one of one of my uh, faves when he was out. So, mm. all right, man. Shout out to Sean, man. We out of here. See y'all. Peace, bye. Just got to get